the topic, I have called you to intimacy. This is an important letter. Children, my eye is on the children whom I love, those who pursue me with all their hearts. I desire intimacy. This is the key to finding me and being close to me. If you are intimate with your churches but not your God, you will be cast away when we meet. I did not call you to be intimate with your churches. I have created you and called you to be intimate with me. I do not need to meet with you within a church building. You can find me all through the night when you first get up in the morning and all through the day. I desire to be close with you. If you instead have chosen to throw yourself into your church and not me, you will be most disappointed to find that you have been and are currently a worker of iniquity. The church is confused about who I am because it has fallen away from my precepts and commands. I am not a God of lawlessness. Rather, they have chosen to follow after the man of lawlessness and soon coming Antichrist, who is my enemy. The whole world, except for the remnant church, the few, pursue evil and have chosen the broad way. Many have been given the chance to hear my words and yet they still desire to be like Lot's wife. Those who have chosen to pursue this evil will be sorry and will learn the fate of their choices. I desire a church that loves me above all else, even their work, families, and future plans. I must be number one in the life of my follower or they cannot be part of me. These must be set apart from the world and all it stands for or they will be put asunder from my eternal presence. Few want to choose for me over the world. I created all, yet they choose against their creator in favor of the creation. The hour is late, and this is not a time to reject me in favor of evil. Soon, time will be up, and those who are ready to be put away to safety will not be disappointed, while those who remain behind will see either destruction or live and suffer the consequences of living during the tribulation. Anyone who chooses to surrender to and follow me during the tribulation will suffer greatly. It will be a hard choice to make and not supported by those who run the world. You must not take your salvation and relationship with God for granted. Do not think that this offer will always be here or that there is any length of time to make up your mind. Too many are already dying in their sins from this life that is run by evil men. The day may come in which your life could be taken from you without any notice. Where will you be at that moment if you have not made a full surrender to me? and to the will of my Father in this life. I suffered immeasurably for a lost world to come back to the will of my Father, yet too few take this offer seriously. Most cast it aside and choose rather to satisfy their flesh. Their choice will be their undoing if they do not take me seriously and turn from their evil deeds and ways and turn back to me now. Time in this life is not an endless gift. The life apart from the body is eternal and there are only two places to dwell, either eternal damnation and the torment or at peace in my presence. What way do you choose? This is the hour of decision. If you put this off,
you may be forever sorry. The road to hell is broad. I warn because I love. My warning is my love letter to you. Keep your eyes fixed on me. It is your only means of salvation. Repent and come apart from this world. I am calling you out to safety. What will it profit you to gain the whole world but to lose your own soul? Love from the Emancipator Yahushua HaMashiach Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 23 Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Hey.